when I was four years old, I started playing hockey and, um, and uh, it, it became a big part of my life pretty quick. You know, I have, uh, I got two sisters, I got a wonderful family. We, we had really strong Catholic roots. And you know, grow, growing up though, we, I didn't have a Bible in the house. Um, we, we would go to church on Christmas and Easter. I went through catechism growing up. And so, um, so I, I kind of grew up in the Catholic faith, uh, but really God wasn't a part of my life. Um, hockey was life. If I did good, I was happy. If I didn't, I was miserable. I lived and breathed by what the hockey world said about me, by what my coaches said, what my teammates said, where I stood on the depth chart, how my performance defined me. Uh, that was my worth and my value, my significance. Everything was tied to what the hockey world said. And I eventually went to college at Miami University in Ohio. I was definitely not living a godly life. I started drinking and partying and chasing girls and doing a lot of things that, um, would really try to um, almost validate me amongst men, right? Try to be a guy with a cool story or try to impress my teammates or um, try, to, try to be the popular kid. And my sophomore year of college, um, hockey got taken from me. I got healthy scratched and to, what that means is that you become the bottom of the depth chart. I was completely healthy and yet my coach wanted to play everybody else over me. And for a guy whose worth and value is tied to what your coach thinks of you and what your teammates think and where you stand in that depth chart, you know, for me, it crushed me absolutely crushed me. One of the first times that I got scratched, my family was driving down to see me. Uh, they were two and a half hours into the trip down, it's a five hour trek, and I was so devastated by it that I actually called them in the middle of their trek down, two and a half hours in, and I pleaded with them to turn around and go home because I just couldn't stand to see them. I was so ashamed, I was so embarrassed, I was so just angry by it all. I was like, please, like, don't come. Like, don't come. I, 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 I could, and they, you know, and, turned around and went home. Like my family was two and a half hours into a trek and I told them to turn around and go home. You know, like that, that's how much hockey had a hold of me. It felt like my heart was getting ripped out of me. And uh, I, I felt like a zero, it just felt like an absolute zero. And uh, it was in that time, uh, for the first time in my life, I was in Flower Hall 107, my dorm. I, uh, I fell on my knees and I wholeheartedly asked God for help. And I didn't really know who Jesus was. I believed God was real. I, I uh, obviously I grew up in the Catholic Church, so I knew a little bit about uh, the cross. But um, quite honestly, I just you know I was just I just believed in God, right? I was I was just kind of where I was at, and uh, didn't know much about Jesus. And I, I cried out. I was like, God, help me, please. And it was all I said. And this overwhelming peace came over me that I had just never experienced before in my life. So I started you know walking this journey, and I'm learning tons, and I'm maturing, and I'm growing, and it was on that road, I got invited to an Athletes in Action meeting. I, it was a uh, Christian ministry on our campus and, and they had worked on me for so long to get me to come to, to come to their event and I finally go. And at this event, you know, they're, they're, they're talking about Jesus. They're talking about how he died on a cross and, and how he bore our sin and, and how he, he rose from the grave conquering Satan, sin, death, the wrath of God and how we can have a relationship with God if we would you know, repent and believe in him. And it wasn't by works, it was, it was through faith in Christ. And, and, uh, and I, it, just, it just hit me, you know, it hit me so hard. I was in psychology room 125 in March 2009. I, uh, I jumped two feet in. I gave my life to Christ and I got my first Bible that week. I started learning, I started growing. It's definitely been a journey of understanding uh, my forgiveness as I, as I dive into my heart more and I realize just you know, how you know, twisted my motives can be and how you know, my heart really is the core of all of this. You know? And just, I need a God, God's grace. I'm on my knees constantly asking for forgiveness for different things. And I did a complete 180 and uh, God grabbed my life. And I'm no longer, you know, a guy that plays hockey, where hockey's identity, but I'm a Christian that happens to play hockey. Hockey's my tool to go and impact this world for Jesus Christ.